Madam Park Moon Hoi, President of the Republic of Korea, Dr. Hamid Ansari, Vice President of India, Dr. Munmohan Singh, Prime Minister of India, Honorable Ministers, Distinguished Guests, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome Your Excellency and Your Distinguished Delegation to India. It is indeed a matter of satisfaction that your state visit is taking place at a time when our countries are celebrating the 40th year of our diplomatic relations. Our shared commitment to democracy and the rule of law and the importance that we attach to upholding civil liberties and human rights are at the very foundation of the strategic partnership that we have today. Madam President, your visit to India within the first year of your presidency signals to us your commitment to take this mutually advantageous relationship to a new level of understanding and cooperation. Your Excellency, we in India see the Republic of Korea as one of the most progressive nations in modern times. The industrious Korean people have been able to overcome all odds and arise from the devastation of war to realize their impressive economic potential. Today, the Republic of Korea is the fourth largest economy in Asia. As a friend and partner, India wishes the people of Korea every success in their endeavors to achieve a second economic miracle on the river hand. Madam President, since the time that an Indian princess from Ayodhya traveled to Korea and married Kim Sudo, almost 2,000 years ago, our peoples have built bridges and forged ties that have endured and thrived over the centuries. The philosophy of the Buddha has enriched the discourse between them. The travelogue of the respected Korean monk, Hei Cho, gave us a valuable insight into India of the 8th century. Nobel laureate poet Rabindranath Tagore's prophetic poem Lamp of the East pays tribute to Korea's glorious past and its bright future. Madam President, our government attaches great importance to our relations with the Republic of Korea, and we are glad that they have transformed in recent years to become multidimensional. Today, leading Korean companies have become household names in India, too. Similarly, Indian companies and banks are investing and establishing themselves with good results in the Republic of Korea. Our growing linkages are being built on the complementarities of our economies that reinforces each other. 
we value the presence and progress of Korean enterprises in India. We are also glad to see the recent expansion in cultural, academic, and other people-to-people -people exchange between our two countries. Excellency, I'm pleased to note that India and the Republic of Korea have a distinct convergence on a host of regional and international issues, including energy security, freedom, and safety of navigation in international waters, non-proliferation of nuclear and missile technology, and combating the scourge of terrorism, to name a just few. India and Republic of Korea, as vibrant economies, have been duly promoting education, information technology, and science. We both are determined to work for peace, stability, and growth in our respective regions and in Asia as a whole. India looks forward to intensifying our joint efforts to build on our mutual goodwill and growing synergies to further strengthen our relationship. Your state visit and interaction with the government, business and industry, and the people of India is yet another step in this direction. I have no doubt that the areas of decisions taken and initiatives announced today will accelerate our cooperation and add content and substance to our strategic partnership for the mutual benefit of our people. I do hope this visit is memorable and satisfying for you and the members of your delegation, and I take this opportunity to greet you and through you, Madam President, the people and the Republic of Korea, a very happy new year. Distinguished guests, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to join me in proposing a toast to the health and success of Her Excellency, President Madam Park Gu Hye, to progress and prosperity of the people of Republic of Korea and to the enduring friendship between India and Republic of Korea. <laughs>